Welcome to Language with Liza. And today you can call me Mustang Sally. No, don't do that. We're talking today about the glorious and much lied about Mustang Express. There weren't really any ponies in the Pony Express. Let's call that lie one. Started in 1860, the Pony Express covered a route through eight states. Missouri, Kansas, Nebraska, Colorado, Wyoming, Utah, Nevada, and California. Lie 2. Only two of those areas, Missouri at the start and California at the finish, were actually states in 1860. Tough as nails cowboys would ride in any weather condition to get people's mail across the western frontier. Lies 3 and 4. Riders for the Pony Express were hardly cowboys. To make things easier on the horses, riders were expected to weigh little more than a hundred pounds, and many were only teenagers. Also, the Pony Express was expensive. It was mainly used to deliver news and important documents. Uncle Henry's letter most likely went by stagecoach, which was twice as slow. Being a rider for the Pony Express was a dangerous and violent job. Half lie number one. Riding for hundreds of miles across the wilderness was certainly dangerous. But violent? Most riders stated that the biggest threat they faced was freezing to death on their rides. So why is the Pony Express so lied about and misunderstood? It was a fantastic and romantic enterprise that people loved talking about. The idea that men would go to such extraordinary lengths to let people communicate was fascinating. Plus, in the fewer than 19 months that it operated, the riders, with 400 horses, delivered over 35,000 pieces of mail after riding more than half a million miles. Getting language and ideas from one part of the continent to another has never been so incredible. Next up in Language with Liza, what the Futhark?